Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Connor, and uh, I'm here to show you guys how to take apart the Rex Cube. As you can see, it is very close to already being disassembled, and I kept one side so I can make a video on it. But what you want to do is that after you're done, after you're done reassembling it, you want to put it all into pieces like this, like separate the reds from the blues, from the yellows, from, from the yellows, from the white, from the orange, and now the green. But this is probably one of the easiest cubes that I've ever seen in my entire life to disassemble. Now, what you want to do is all you have to do is turn it at an angle like this and pop off that cross piece and it went on the floor. So you want to take off the cross piece. You want to set it in a pile. So then you, you can still keep this uh, angle and pop, pop off that one. And then you can easily just take out the center. And then you can leave on just crunch in. And there you go. Now you have an edged Rex cube. So that's how you disassemble all the uh, centers. Because I don't know if you define these as centers. You might, you might not. Depends on how you look at it. Now, uh, the reason why you want to do that first is because when you take off these edges, every if you take one off, everything explodes. And I already just figured that out. So what you want to do is, you can just pull it out like that, because then it just fits right back in. Like I'll show you. This took me a second, well, a couple. It took me like a minute. Put it back in. I was not sure of it, of how, if I was just settling it right and wrong. And there you go, it's back in the place. So all you have to do is just, if I can get it, uh, take it out. And you can do that for all of them. But I don't know. But you want to just match it up, whatever. Like you can make it now so that, uh, so that your Rex cube, when well, you can have it whatever side that you want, whatever colors you want on each side. But I think I'm gonna follow the actual Rex cube, like this. I think I'm gonna make it exactly how it is, so that like this is normally white. So I think I'm gonna make it white, blue, yellow, like exactly how Rex cube is. So you might, if you have a Rex cube handy, great, because you can just base off that. So now. What you want to do is just orient it how you want to. So, if green's on top, white is on this side, and yellow is on this side. So, you want to get all the white, and then let's see here, like this, and then right below that. That means orange needs to be here, and red needs to be here. And they can, so you can figure out the rest out. So, orange needs to be here. So, you take all the orange ones. And blues right below it, so you want to take out this one. It gets confusing now because now everything is not lined up. Okay, there it is. So now, right below orange is blue. Let's see here. Now I'm getting lost. Orange, blue. This one needs to come out. And then. Whoa. That's not what we wanted. You pretty much, I'm sorry if this goes out of the camera, but. You pretty much just want. There we go. So now that one's locked into place. So now it goes white, green, orange. White, green, orange. Find the next orange, there's an orange in here. I have another orange one. So it needs to be right here. Pull that piece here. Let's see. Orange needs to go here. Lock in the place, and now we need to find the last orange piece, which is right here. All you have to do is pull it out. If 
find where the next one, or the last orange piece is. Let's see, it got a little disoriented. Right here. Let's see, if I find the orange, there it is. Pull this yellow one out easily. Now you get all disoriented. That's not good. Let's see here. And you can see how it works now, too. But it does get confusing. And I'll continue this when we are done with all these.